Um, let's go ahead and mount the board uh, just so we can get the motors in place. Now, this board is going to sit uh, back here, but before it sits back there, you've got four of these little couplers. That's going to help hold it offset from from this back piece right here. So in order to do that, you're going to get some small screws. These uh, most likely these six millimeter ones. Then you will run it through the back here and screw on the coupler. just like that. So you will have four of these standoffs. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are four standoffs here. That goes for the control board. And we will mount the control board probably in this direction here. Or actually your, your battery Terminals are at the top, so let's mount it this way. So you get four more of those screws. Now you will have a lot of extra screws, so don't worry about that. Um, I think they just package more than you need in case you lose some or in case you need some. All right, there you go. We've got the board on. If you look carefully on the board, you'll see some printed uh, words. You have yaw, pitch, and roll. So yaw is going to be this guy right up here. This motor that's sitting at the top, that is your yaw. So you're gonna take that wire and you're gonna connect it to the yaw. Now before you do that, you gotta put the little ends on. So we're going to feed this in here. There's only one direction that this faces so that when you feed it in, it actually locks in place. And you should have a little, you should hear a nice snap there. Now we will put this on. It doesn't really matter about the direction the motor so our yaw is secured we'll go ahead and clean up these wires later after we have everything tested and working um, so this bottom motor here this bottom motor here is going to be your roll so as it uh, rolls left and right so that's going to connect right over here now if you can do it if you have enough room, I prefer to go through the back of this controller just to keep the wires tucked away. We'll eventually hide everything with a project box later. But there you go, that is your roll. Now, your pitch, that's gonna be when your camera's here, it'll pitch forward or backward, tilt. So we will connect that cable over here. Again, let's try and pass it through the back here. Let's keep these wires kind of hidden as best as we can. And we have our motors. So uh, this, let's see here. <clears throat> this top motor may be tricky to get the plug in um, it fits very, very flush against the top bracket here. You may have to kind of bend the pins a little bit, tweak it just to get that to fit before running it uh, through the top here. Um, now, on this end, we have another motor. Uh, on this end, we have another motor that we need to, to, or another wire we need to connect to this motor. So we're gonna put a clip on this one as well. Again, there's only one direction that this is going to fit in.
just make sure you're not twisting the wires before putting it into the connector. Um, they need to go in straight, so the middle one needs to go in the middle. That's it, so then we just plug it into the uh, motor on this side. Not too bad, we're about 90% of the way there. Then we have to mount our uh, little sensors here. Uh, one of them is going to go at the top up here, the other one is going to go on uh, this pole here. And uh, so we'll show you that in a second. All right, so we have the um, everything mounted up here. We have the control board mounted on the back. Again, you have some offsets here to keep it off the frame. Now, this is what makes this system so different. There are two sensors, dual IMUs. The 8-bit version only had one IMU that ended up on top of the camera. This one actually has two. So one will go above the camera. The other one, we can position it uh, possibly in three different places, which is above the yaw motor, uh, somewhere below the yaw motor, or um, up here against this frame. We just need to have this parallel to one of our motors. Um, and there are benefits to adding it to the top or to the bottom of the yaw motor, uh, but we're gonna mount it over here. This should give us more long-term stability on the, uh, the pitch and the roll. Uh, but it won't really help us much with the yaw, which is okay. Um, but this is where we're going to mount it. This is where they suggest we should mount it. Now, you'll have a bag of little parts for mounting this uh, sensor to the frame. Um, you're gonna have a piece like this. It comes in a bag with uh, some other stuff. So we're gonna mount this to the back here. Let me do that now. So basically, we're gonna take this clamp. We're gonna go around the back side here. Now again, before you tighten everything up, let's just make sure everything is as square as can be because your sensor is going to sit on this platform. And uh, when I say square, make sure that it's level and parallel to this uh, roll motor over here. Then we tighten that up. You'll have two little screws that mount the uh, IMU. Again, the one that's mounted in the back is the one that has two connections to it. Now, it will only go on one way. Um, you can either have this with the uh, connections pointing down or the connections pointing up. Um, you'll notice there are some solder pins here that need to hang off of the mount. Um, when you guys get it, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. It can only go on one way. I was attempting to put it on the other way. It didn't work out, so I had to flip it around. So I don't think it matters uh, whether this is pointing up or down. The sensor just has to be parallel with this roll motor right here. And then we'll have this sensor mounted above our camera to make sure that our camera is staying level the whole time. All right, so that is, uh, that's the basics right here. We have uh, kind of everything set up, I think. Um, again, you're going to have some extra pieces. Uh, this right here attaches to the top of a camera if you want to lock it in place. Um, could be a good idea, but again, very specific to certain cameras. I'm not gonna use that right now. Um, and then we haven't wired in the joystick yet. Again, this is optional. Um, I'll do this uh, later. Because right now, um, aside from soldering up the battery connections here, which I'm going to do, um, we, we are pretty much ready to go. We're pretty much ready to boot this up. So as soon as I solder this to the board, I can uh, start this gimbal up and start tuning it um, and, and test it out. So let me get that set up right now. Let me solder this to the control board.